They gave my, you seven? No, my husband, Honor, he counted it, Your Honor. Your Honor, I only got 55.10 from the plaintiff. 55? Well, $5,510 that I counted in front of her. Well, you knew that all the cash in the safe belonged to her. Didn't belong to you, right? I don't care about you being nervous. Invite her to your house to open the safe. You knew all the cash in the safe your brother told you belonged to her. So it would seem to me that if all you were looking for was the insurance policy and the most valuable thing in the safe was the cash, you would have made certain, if you wanted to be honest, that the person who was supposed to get the cash would be there when you opened the safe. Do you understand where I'm going? Yes, she could. Good. So, money owed for the return of your brother's property that you say was taken without your permission. Did your brother have a will? No. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Who knows? You were the only ones there when the safe was opened. No. You were the only ones there when the safe my was witness, opened. You're like my one daughter, voice. Is it a daughter? Yes. And a husband? husband? Yes. Yeah. What? May I speak to you? Why would I take the money? She didn't even know it was in the safe. I gave it to her. If she you didn't know it was in the safe, what? Your Honor, and I gave it to her, why would I, I want to take it? I, I didn't want her what? money. <laughs> I wanted then to bury what? my brother, y'all. Then what you do is, if you knew I that didn't know all how the much, money, Your Honor. Just a second. You're not, listen, whether you're playing dumb or, or that's not an act, I don't know which one it is. It's if you truth, knew Yana. that all the money in the safe belonged to her, then you open the safe in front of her. I tried, Your Honor. Then take her to your house. Don't remove the safe from where it is that the most valuable thing in is the cash, take her to your house. Your Honor, when I got to the house and the envelope was in there with her name on it, we immediately gave it to her. I don't, listen to me. She can't prove otherwise, so I don't know how much was in there and she doesn't know exactly how much was in there, so I can't guess how much was in there. But I want you to know that that's the sense that I'm coming to when I'm coming to your other claims that she took valuable property that belonged to your brother and that you are entitled to. That's my mindset. So now you want to tell me what property that you claim she took that belonged to your brother? Yes, that was valuable, just very valuable to my brother and sentimental to me, Your Honor. It was uh, his uh, computer printer, fax machine, uh, bowl speakers, uh, watch jewelry, household items, Did number of things. Did you take any of those things? No, ma'am. The only thing that I took that oh, oh was God. in the initial police report was an electric trash can. That was the only thing that I took from the house, other than my things. Just a second. Do you have anyone who saw her take the property from the house? No. I know she took it, Your Honor. She was the only one who had a key. I had a key, my brother had a key, and he's in heaven, so it was, she was the only one. And Your Honor, when you go in the house to see it, all her things was gone, and so was my brother's valuables. Uh -huh. And she the only one had access to the house, Your Honor. Well, well. And I, Man, Your Honor, be, I know the difference between be. a robbery and a, a steal, you know? She robbed you do? him. Really? She robbed him. Really? Yes. I'm, you think that you... You think that I think that you robbed her of money? No, I didn't, Your Honor. Yeah, but you, but do you th I didn't ask you whether you did or not. Do you think that I think that you did? You shouldn't, Your Honor, because if she didn't know she was getting the money and I gave it to her... You gave her some of it. No, I gave her all of it, Your don't Honor. Don't believe it. always in the envelope. No, don't, I don't believe it. Anyway, you have a counterclaim, and your counterclaim really is for the money. Mm -hmm. But you have no idea how much money was in there. I do not. Problem. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much money was in there. And we can't play a guessing game. Yeah, I was paying you... him 200 for the first two years when I first moved in, and then he raised it to 350 And for the last year since the beginning of 2016, I was paying 400 I had um, spoke with Doris. Just and a second. She... It doesn't matter. Okay. If what you're telling me is that you were paying for room and board and paying him so much, and that, put your hand down, and that's the money that you think he was putting away, it doesn't matter because you don't know, and you have to know. Yeah, my calculations came from she openly admitted to me and my sister that she knows of $250 since I've moved in, so that was uh, 13000 Miss Reed, it's all guesswork. Okay. Now, I'm interested in what happened at the funeral because it's your claim mm -hmm. that you were assaulted at the funeral. Yes. 